Hello and welcome to 5 Minute Math. Today we are looking at the 5th grade concept of adding and subtracting fractions. We will be doing it with visual models and we will do it in 5 minutes or less. Now in 5th grade when we're adding and subtracting fractions, the denominators are most likely going to be different. And so what we have here is a picture of a subtraction problem involving fractions with two different denominators and a typical problem you would see in fifth grade is being able to interpret a picture like this and to be able to not only write an equation that matches this but also to solve it. Looking at the figure you should notice first off that it has 12 pieces so that's going to be our denominator representing how many total pieces there are and there are 10 of those pieces shaded in red so that's our numerator our top number so we have 10 twelfths and you should notice across the top row you have a big X and what that is representing is subtraction so we have 10 twelfths and then you have one big piece being taken away and you notice it is a single X so it is going to be a numerator of one even though it's covering four pieces it's one big X what we need to do is we need to understand that this one X is going to represent one part out of three equal parts. Take a look at our rows. This whole first row is X'd out and you have two additional rows right here and right here. So that subtraction problem is going to be 10 twelfths minus one third because one of the three rows is X'd out. And so that is a visual representation of our subtraction problem with different denominators. What we need to do is solve it. Well, we have the top row completely X'd out, so we can just count how many squares we have left. We've got one, two, three, four, five, six squares left, and so we can say we have six twelfths remaining. And if your teacher wants, you can also reduce that or simplify it. You should know that six is half of twelve, so six twelfths is equal to one half. Because what you can look at is this one third right here can be rewritten as 1, 2, 3, 4 twelfths. And so if you have 10 twelfths, take away 4 twelfths, well, remember when you add or subtract fractions, the denominator needs to be equal, but when you have equal denominators, you only add or subtract the numerators. You leave the denominator alone. So that's where you get your 6 twelfths. Let's try an addition problem. Let's say that you and your sister are saving your money and you want to buy a game together. And what we have here is a visual representation of how much money you have saved and how much money your sister has saved. And so this top row represents that you have saved one-fourth of the amount of the game because you have one red square out of four total squares in the top row. Your sister has saved one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight twelfths of the entire cost of the game. And what you want to know is if you put your money together with your sister's money, have you saved enough to buy the game? And so we're going to add one fourth and eight twelfths. Once again, we do not have the same denominators, but we can use the picture to figure out whether we have enough money or not. You notice this one fourth is equal to one, two, three twelfths. You notice that it's the exact same. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pretend this one fourth is three twelfths here, and I'm gonna transfer it over here, and I'm gonna shade in one, two, three twelfths to see how much I have. And you notice I don't quite have enough. I'm close, but I only have 11 twelfths. And so we are close to saving our money, but not we need a little bit more because this one fourth is the same as three twelfths and if you add eight twelfths and three twelfths you are going to get eleven twelfths. Now let's practice. Go ahead and pause the video, take a look at these two problems, write an equation for each and then solve them. When you have your answers start your video back up and check your work. All right, hopefully you got your answers correct. The first is a subtraction problem, 9 fifteenths minus 1 third equals 4 fifteenths. The other problem is an addition problem, 3 sixths plus 1 third equals 5 sixths.